Hello, welcome to BioGrid TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. How the Gambia got independence. From 1894, Britain began administering the narrow riverside region which they called the Gambia Protectorate. The territory is almost entirely surrounded by Senegal, which was under French control at the time. To govern the protectorate, the British appointed 35 chiefs to rule over various sections of the Gambia. These chiefs were answerable to the governor who presided from Bathurst, now known as Banjul. When World War II ended and most of the colonies in Africa were heading towards independence, Britain assumed that the Gambia will merge with Senegal, which they were surrounded by. However, local politicians in Gambia preferred to have a small independent nation standing on its own. But long before independence, political parties began to emerge. Edward Francis Small, a Gambian, had begun to take baby steps towards the liberation of the Gambia from British rule. He is considered the pioneer and one of the earliest leaders of Gambia's struggle for independence from the British. Edward Francis Small was born in Bathurst in January 1891. After finishing his education in Freetown at the Methodist High School, he gained employment at the post office. He then went on to become a teacher and eventually a clergyman with the Methodist Mission in 1915. While serving as a clergy in the village of Balangar, he had a misunderstanding with a British merchant which led to his transfer by his superior, Reverend P.S. Toys. Unhappy with his transfer, he criticized Reverend Toys and was then fired from the church. Feeling unfairly treated by his British superiors, this incident marked the beginning of his struggles for the liberation of the Gambia from British colonization. In 1920, Small participated in a conference in the Gold Coast organized by the National Congress of British West Africa NCBWA. At the conference, Small gave a speech about the right of West Africans to self-rule. When he returned to Bathurst, Small set up the Gambia chapter of the NCBWA. He was instrumental in staging the first labor walkout in Gambia later in 1928. Small was later elected to the Legislative Council in 1942 and became the first person to win a popular vote in Gambia. By the time of his death in 1958, he had inspired other Gambians to aspire for self-rule and political parties had started emerging. The first political party to be formed in the Gambia was in 1951 and was called the Democratic Party. This party was headed by Reverend J.C. Fay. A year later in 1952, the Muslim Congress Party was formed under the leadership of Im Garba Jahumpa. The year 1952 also saw the founding of the United Party, UP, which was led by P.S. Njie, which led the poll in elections to the Legislative Council in 1954. Then there was the Gambia People's Party, GPP, which existed only for a short while under St. Clair Jube, who died soon after he was defeated in the 1954 polls. In 1959, the People's Progressive Party, PPP, was found. The party was formerly known as the Protectorist People Party. The party was headed by a former veterinary officer, Dauda Jawara. In 1960, a new constitution was introduced which extended voting rights to the people of the colony. At the elections held in 1960, the two major contenders were the United Party and the PPP. Both parties won eight seats apiece. The governor at the time, Edward Windley, decided to appoint NJ of the United Party as the chief minister because the majority of the chiefs showed their support for him. Unwilling to accept this development, Jawara resigned his position as the Minister of Education. This eventually led to political crisis. 
the British colonial government had to assemble the various stakeholders for talks both in Bathurst and in London in 1961. The outcome of the talks was the 1962 constitution that paved the way for internal self-rule in the Gambia. A general election was held in May 1962 and Jawara's People's Progressive Party emerged victorious, winning 17 out of the 25 protectorate seats. This result gave Jawara the absolute majority in the parliament, so Jawara became the new premier of the Gambia. Seeking to carry his opponents along, after the 1962 election, Jawara went into a coalition government with PSNJ of the United Party to form the Gambia's first independent government. Finally, on the 18th of February 1965, Gambia became an independent nation and was admitted into the Commonwealth. The population of the Gambia was just about 315,000 as of 1963. What have we missed out of this history? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.